It's over for you. This entire fantasy is done. Well, let me ask you this. Why didn't you and your baby daddy work out? It's too bad. I guess I'm gonna just have to make up for it. Are you sleeping with her? No, will you stop accusing me of that? Well, are you capable of committing this crime? Yes. For the protection of my family. Darnell, where are you at? I am already five minutes late for my doctor's appointment. You said you would be down here. Just call me back. something Carmen I mean don't doesn't like me to worry but that's not how I'm wired like I'm not built like that I can't just sit back and watch his church crumble and everything else we've built like no and you don't think being pregnant is gonna mess that up no <laughs> girl them people don't care about that as long as they get to see what they want to see they are good okay <laughs> well I'm behind you whatever you do girl you know that thank Stay you Carmen and thank you for hanging with me today. Like, I can't believe Darnell missed another doctor's appointment. Girl, it is really no problem. What are best friends for? You know, you really shouldn't be having going through this pregnancy alone, no matter what Darnell has going on. And that's exactly what it feels like. Ever since he's been going through this trial and this case or whatever, he's been coming home late, missing my prenatal appointments, and he's even got me working on church stuff alone. Like, I don't know what it is with him and this attorney, but I can't take much more of this. I mean, it's after what? After 10 o'clock at night, he's still not home. Do you think he's messing with her? I mean, he says he's not, but like seriously, what kind of attorney got their client out till 10 or 11 o'clock at night working on a case? You know what, I could kill Ty for sending my man a female attorney. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best idea. Hell no. But I was thinking, let's get your mind off of everything. What if we throw you a baby shower? I don't wanna have a baby shower. And why not? It'll be something to celebrate you and the baby. Everything's always about Darnell and the church. You need something for you. Who gonna be there, Carmen? You, Darnell, maybe his mom? I mean, you know, my family hasn't spoken to me since night trips. And Ty is really the only family I have, and God knows how long he's gonna be in Arizona. And you're my only real friend, so a shower just, it seems pointless. Just, just. What about people from church? Girl, you funny. <laughs> Those people barely even like me after all this madness. Girl, Michael B. Jordan is fine. You're good as your man. No, the better question is, what are you doing coming home this late? I mean, somebody's got to be here for your pregnant fiance while you're out doing God knows what. Sabes que se te ve la cara de baboso, yeah? Esa parte. Carmen, don't you got a man to get home to? Don't be an ass. Nah, girl, it's cool. I do got a man to get home to. I'll let you talk to yours. All right, girl, let me walk you out. Yeah, you got it. Think on my own to you too. Why do you have to be such an ass? You need to watch your damn tone in front of company, and she needs to stay in her damn place. Excuse you? Her place is my best friend. You know the one that's been here for me while you haven't been? You need to stop telling all our business, Eric. Who the hell else am I gonna talk to, Darnell? You're never home! Oh my God, are we back on this again? 
You do realize that I'm fighting for a case to stay out of prison, right? Yes, we're back on this again. Because you missed another doctor's appointment after you told me you would be there. No, I said I would try to be there. I got held up at the firm. I couldn't just leave. Darnell, do you even care about this baby? Of course I care about my son. How you gonna ask me a question like that? Because you haven't been showing me that you do. Everything is about you and this damn case. A case that I'm trying to win so I can raise my kids. You doing more than working on this damn case. I know you are. Erica, I'm not... I'm not creeping with you. I'm being faithful to you. I love you. If you loved me, then you would bring your ass home and you would keep your promises. I'm doing all this alone without you. Baby, what more do you expect from me? You don't see what I'm up against? You know what, Darnell? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Do what you want to do. No, get out. Mason. Daniel, leave me alone. I'm sorry, babe. You know I love you, right? Well, you need to act like it then. That's what I'm trying to do. You know this isn't going to work every single time, right? But it's working right now. I love you. I don't want anybody but you. Whatever. That's how we do it, Kiara, huh? That's how we do it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Sick of y'all. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Your turn. What you got? What you got? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, Kiara, I like those rings. Those are pretty. I didn't notice those earlier. Thank you. I got it when me and my mama and her new boyfriend went to the mall to get it. Hmm. New boyfriend? What you talking about? <laughs> yeah, mama got a boyfriend now. You didn't know? And he's been around you already? Well, that's nice. How long they been dating? Um, I don't really know. But Mama really seems to like him, though. Mm. Is he nice to you? What's his name? Um, yes, he's very nice to me. He's a Marine. His name is Terrence. <coughs> <coughs> Terrence? <coughs> oh. What does he look like? Um, 
Well, that's good, sweetie. I'm glad you like Mr. Terrence. Kiara, um, why don't you head back to the room and go play with your toys until your mom get here? Okay. Are you mad, Daddy? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm happy for your mom. Now go on to the back. Please tell me she is not talking about Antoine's brother, Terrence. This is not just a coincidence. First he's showing up to the church. Now he's trying to get info through Tara. So what you gonna do about it? I can put it into it. I need to speak to you about something. And I don't want Kiara hearing what I got to say. What is it now, Darnell? Kiara talking about your new little boyfriend. She always running her mouth. So you weren't gonna tell me? Tell you for what? I am grown. Yeah, you grown, but I don't want weird ass men hanging around my daughter that's been a threat to my family. What the hell are you talking about, Darnell? Your man Terrence? How'd you meet him? Well, if you must know, I met him at the church. I had car trouble. He helped me out, and we hit it off from there. What is fling ends now? Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? This man threatened Erica. I constantly been up at the church and trying to get info about his brother Antoine through you. You talking about Terrence's brother? I'd be threatening her ass if I was him too. Sorry, you need to shut your damn mouth because you have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Well, I do know that Erica was married to Terrence's brother, but somehow ended up pregnant and in a relationship with you, and he's missing. Tell me, did y'all kill him? That is why you're on trial for, right? I don't know where that man is at. Just like how Terrence doesn't know where his brother is at. Like I said, you're going to end this thing now. You just mad that I'm moving on from your trifling ass. Tara, I don't give a damn about you moving on. I just want that man to stay away from my damn daughter. Well, that man has been helping me with your daughter while you only see her when you feel like it. So I don't give a damn what you gotta say about it, Darnell. I'm gonna say this one more time. Keep him away from my daughter. Or it's gonna be a problem. I don't trust him. Whatever, Darnell. I'm done with this conversation. I'm ready to go tell Kiara to come the fuck on. In the case of the state of Oklahoma versus Darnell Gray, we the jury find the defendant not guilty in the murder of Antoine Jacobs, so say we are. So this whole time you're cooperating with the feds against me. You tried to kill me. And now you're trying to get me locked up in prison for a crime I didn't even commit. 
What are you gonna let all this mess go? Hmm. A crime you didn't commit? You sure about that? It doesn't matter. I got acquitted of all the charges. Devil, you can't win. When are you gonna get that through your head? Well, it seems like you got the devil working for you if you can get out of a case like this. I don't care what the jury says. I know you're guilty. I hope the both of you burn in hell where y'all belong. Girl, please. You just mad because you keep having to pick your face up off the ground. Come on, baby. We got a wedding to plan. <laughs> Dr. Graham? Looks like I owe you two a congratulations. Seems like God was truly on your side in this investigation. God always wins. Indeed. So much for those orange jumpsuits, huh? <laughs> Baby, you're all right? Yeah, just a uh, little, whew, little Braxton and Hicks, that's all. Just, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right, really. I should have listened to you about Keela. Well, duh. I told you I ain't want that one. I know, baby. It's just the coming home late, you know, the pregnancy, the hormones. Just, I started to see a pattern. That's all. Just, but I'm sorry. I forgive you. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so since you was wrong, how are you going to make it up to me? A lot going on. You got you get get. Call the I, doctor. Tell him we're coming. So you want to get on the phone? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. You call know what? You raise your voice at me. Guess what? I ain't gonna call nobody. We just gonna be stuck here. Call the motherfucking doctor. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, Hello. Yes, this is not one. I need an ambulance to come to. Uh, to my residence right now, uh, my, my baby, my, my, uh, my fiance, she, uh, she, her water broke. And uh, her contractions. Oh, no, I ain't no doctor. Baby, stop screaming, I'm on the phone. Uh, 
Okay, uh, contractions. Uh, baby, how far? They sound like they're pretty close. I'll be honest with you. Uh, baby, baby. How we're far? We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. She said we're not gonna make it. Hold on, hold on. You can't wait 45 minutes. What's going on? What's going on? I'm gonna feel him coming out. You feel close your legs, baby. Hold on, Stop. hold on. She said she feel like he's coming out. Uh -huh. So you, okay, you need some towels. Okay, we got the towels. Towels. He's coming. Towels, what else do I need? What else do I need? Baby, what do I need? He's coming. I don't want to deliver no baby. I am a pastor. I'm a pastor, baby. Okay, okay. Here it comes. Okay. So okay, hold on. I need to get some towels. Hurry up! Get some towels. Baby, baby, just, just calm down. Oh, close your legs, baby. Breathe, what breathe. Let's say, let's say, breathe. All right, and get another towel. Okay, okay. Another towel. Yeah. She really sweaty. Why do you think so? Hold on. What is Hello? wrong with you? I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, oh, okay. Uh, I got to do it. I'm going to do it a little bit. Here we go. Baby, just breathe. Push, push. Girl in the mouth, little black girl don't know where to go. Does she like the clown and the teacher stay kicking her out? Insecure, but she won't say it out loud. All she wanna do is make her mama proud. She wanna be like them other girls, they in another world, she just can't figure them out. Round face, thick thighs, full waist, bright eyes, she wonders if they'll judge her for the size. She doesn't compromise, she's seen this world before. This child is wise, never busy, but her mind is occupied. She used to dream of high rises, but life is. Full of surprises, talent comes in second place, the perfect timing. Used to swear that I was ready, but back then I wasn't rhyming. Funny, hunger came from staying in my dorm and eating ramen. College had me stressing, college had me stressing. So Father, grant me blessings. Path I'm on is lonely, so right now just help me feel your presence. Give me